In der Schweiz hat der Bundesrat die Maßnahmen im Kampf gegen das Coronavirus verabschiedet. Abstandsregeln und die Hygieneregeln halten und Betriebe, die sich nicht daran halten, werden geschlossen. Switzerland has its first case of coronavirus. This means a partial lockdown for Switzerland with all but the most essential shops like supermarkets, banks and pharmacies allowed to stay open over the next month. So it's been two weeks that Switzerland has declared a national quarantine and I had one meeting in the city and I also wanted to see how my city, my downtown Weinfelden is doing in this current pandemic. And the results were shocking. Well, doesn't come as a surprise. In this period of time, even sitting or taking a bus feels like a crime, feels like a wrong thing you're doing. It can be anywhere, on the poles, on the seats, anywhere around us. You never know. The buses and trains have stopped the purchasing of tickets in the bus due to the obvious reasons, of course. And they're also not controlling in the bus or the train. Like, they're not controlling the people who have bought or not bought the ticket right now. Least to say, and I do not condone this, that a good sign for people who illegally take a ride, use the services in black. Schwarz Fahrer. Arriving in the downtown city, Weinfelden, it felt very different. Like the city was giving a very weird vibe. Switzerland is notoriously well known for being very empty. Like you won't see too many people on the streets. But right now it was on a whole another level. As if one third of the population is missing or something. As if Thanos snapped his fingers. But that would remove like 50% of the population. Bad jokes. Around here, and this is so weird. Like, look this. Check this out, man. Check this out. Like, this place, this entire place, used to be full of people. Like, full of cars over there. A lot of people always over here. I haven't seen Weinfeld in this empty in a while. I can't believe this place was usually filled with people going through their everyday life, filled with hustle and bustle, and now. It's just quiet and gray. This parking lot was used to be filled with cars. It's just surreal to see this scenario right now. It just feels very alone and cold and like... After that, I went to my favorite store, Migros, to get some drinks and check the situation over there. They didn't let me film with the big camera, this one, but I filmed a bit with my smartphone. Sneak 100. And just outside the store, there was a guy who was keeping track of how many people are entering and exiting. I'm not sure, but I believe now they have put a limit on the people that how many people can be inside the store at one particular time, which is a very good health and security measure. I am a big advocate for this. And plus it makes shopping a bit easier, if I'm honest, like less, less stress and less competition, less people, if that makes sense. They closed down the entire Migros restaurant. There's just one guy working over there. A few people. The Swiss train stations, or Bahnhof as we may say it, are always somewhat packed with people. Like there are, there are always people around that area but now they're they're nothing more than a ghost town or if i may say a ghost station ghost bahnhof <laughs> bad jokes i know man bad jokes there were always people around here junkie people drinking smoking living their life Here in my place in the countryside, life also seems a bit odd. Like one third of the population has gone into hibernation or something. 
which is a good thing that people are isolating themselves, staying inside and not going outside without particular reasoning. I normally just jog or cycle around this area, so I'm pretty happy that all my outside activities are well in the social and physical distancing boundaries. So windy, my bicycle fell off. Like the wind is really strong, real strong. Ooh. And there are rumors flying here and there right now in Switzerland that these kind of activities might also get banned in the upcoming future. People are advised not to go out to grocery stores, to supermarkets, uh, to do anything else apart from buying the necessary groceries, Lebensmittel as we call it. And two days ago, I had to go out and get some potatoes. Haha. -ha. So it's 12.42 right now. I need to go get some potatoes, some groceries, because of course, life isn't came to an halt. We need to live, we need to eat, drink and sleep. I'm going to be very honest. I don't know how I feel about this right now. It, it, it almost feels like I'm taking a big risk or a very dangerous adventure, which I'm, which I'm opting to go for. It feels very weird. Like it, it, it almost feels illegal and dangerous to do what I'm about to do right now. I hope everything goes good. I took all the necessary steps, kept distance, wore gloves and headed towards the nearest store. As I slowly approached there, one of the shops were closed. I don't know for what reason, but yeah, it was closed. I came here riding three kilometers and it's closed. I don't, I don't know what to say, man. Like. It's, it's closed. And I needed to get my potatoes. I went ahead in search of them if maybe Folg or Landi had it. And thankfully Landi was open and I got them potatoes. So I got the potatoes, one kilo potatoes. I couldn't find them in Folg. Need to head back home now. And they were also taking a lot of precautions, uh, like a lot of ups. Uh, you had to keep a lot of space in between the people, like this much, like this much space, like two sizes of me. You have to give that much space in between two individuals. Abstand halten. I am personally loving my quarantine not to be insensitive or something about the current pandemic and outbreak. I get to do a lot of me stuff nowadays, so that's that's something new. So please help someone who is in need. Wash your hands. Click the subscribe button down below. It is sanitized and you're gonna get some hand sanitizer too. And uh, please stay safe. Thanks for watching. Fair thing.